Hi everyone. I uh, thought I'd just turn on the camera real quick since I'm doing putting together some uh, individual track links and I know this can be a pain. It took me forever to figure out how to do this and um, I'm by no means an expert at this but since it took me so long to figure out, find information on how to do it, I figured I'd make a video and hopefully it would help somebody. Alright, so uh, what I have here are individual track links for mini art. This is from a uh, T80 Russian tank that is currently naked, with no links. Um, so I already cut them out of the sprue. I cleaned them up while they were on the sprue. There's sink marks on every single track link, so I tried to scrape that away as best I could. And then I cut them out, and several of them broke. Thank you, Mini Art. And hopefully I have enough here to uh, still build the tank. I think I need 82 per side, and there's 88 total for each side. And I think I broke more than I'm supposed to. Hopefully this works out in the end. But anyway, uh, what I have here is um, tape, to me a tape, cut down to the size of the tracks. It's uh, sticky side up. And I had a tape down on the ends, and I got a ruler here. And what I'm doing is simply... Placing each track in position, the tape holds it down, and using some testers plastic cement. Now that's the key to this because testers plastic cement dries very slow, and that's what's going to make putting these on shortly so much easier. Put that up a bit closer, okay, and I'll just do a few here. Ah, stuck to the tape. I'll just do a few here so you don't get bored out of your skull watching me do this. I'm going to try some tweezers. I'm going to make this easier. do this fairly quickly. This is not something you could start and then go off somewhere and do something else. This is a one sitting build. Inch by inch. Okay, hopefully you got the idea here. Cut to the completion. Okay, here's the tracks. Cut the ends of the tape off. Hopefully I have enough links here because I ran out of room on the tape. So I glued it all down and then I went over again with another coat. Just make sure it's steady. Uh, here is the scary part, trying to get the tape off. Ah, delicate. Okay. Get off my fingers. Okay. It's important to make sure you get the tracks facing in the right direction. I already checked that so I know this is the way they go. Get in there, you damn teeth. <laughs> okay, take two. All right, take 37. I got enough this time. Our part, you gotta watch the gear wheel. 
pull off the, uh, if, the if it rotates, I'm going to start pulling the links apart. Oh, please be enough this time. Gah! I hate you, Mini Art. Take 74. Hey, look, it's enough links. Great. So much photo wash on here. I gotta be, do this carefully. Switch camera angles so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, um, like I said, I'm not an expert at this, so I'm kind of winging it as I'm going here since I got a limited amount of time before this glue starts drying up and track wings start coming apart. I was trying to leave the last section unglued, but that's not working. Okay, there. All right. We're on position. Last thing I need, need to do is add some sag. And we do that fairly easily by adding some weights. Let's see if these work. Balancing act here. Not only add some sag, but also make sure that they set on the uh, wheels properly. Should be using something square, not pennies. Checking my sag here, see if I want to add some more or not. Ah, son of a... I got something else. I need to find something heavier. Hang on. Alright, um... Things weren't working that well, I tried to find something really quick. To substitute of it, something that's square and heavy, but I couldn't find anything. So I ended up uh, just gluing three pennies together repeatedly and putting them on there. Yes, I know it's a federal offense. Please don't tell the government that I'm destroying money. I'm sure they won't mind once they find out I'm using it to, uh, doing it to build a Russian tank. So, um, this needs a set for. I'm going to let it set for a while to make sure it's totally dry, about at least an hour, and then I can do the last step. Alright, I let the tracks uh, dry overnight, just to be on the safe side. And now, the final step is to remove them. Now the front and back wheels, I did not glue, so... Should be able to pull this off. 
Oops, snapped a track, dang it. You will occasionally get a little breakage. Now the track is off, it's all formed. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now, I can paint the track separately from the tank and I still have the formed track. Two small little areas here, this one I just broke off the re-glue. And this one here needs a little fixing. Just put a bit more uh, plastic cement on it and uh, push it together, it'll be fine. So there you go. Single track links done the long, difficult way. Hopefully you have a bit better luck than I did. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this, but at least gives you an idea how to do it properly. Sort of properly. Kind of properly. Well, completely wrong, but you get the general idea.